a world where seven people will play a game like never before. Last week was something very interesting, mm-hmm. and yeah. it was a I'm not, Stop a man, it. Just, was it a man week? No, I don't think it was because yeah. I think something very exciting happened. <laughs> very exciting, guys. We're about to play Dungeons and Dragons uh, Fifth Edition Homebrew, uh, called the Celestial War here at uh, Audio Dungeon. We play this uh, every single Wednesday. For those of you just just joining, we played two mini games, then we played the Dungeons and Dragons game, which is about to play right now. A couple of things you might want to know before we start is that the shares matter. It says, uh, depending on where we are, the shares, the group gets an inspiration bonus. They will get that bonus into every one of their roles for attacking. So uh, there's a bunch of other stuff. What is that stuff? I'm going to show you right now on your screen. So with the power of technology, cool. <laughs> look at the screen. And you, on, you will screen, on your screen, you will notice many things there. So you will see the shares like I just told you about. They get a, uh, 50 shares plus 1, 100 shares plus 2, 150 plus 3, and 200 shares plus 5. Uh, someone let me know how many shares we're up to right now and uh, in the crew here. And while they do that, there's a lot of things you can do here. You can donate stars, actually. You'll notice on the screen. We actually just, just got to the ability to uh, receive stars. So if you want to affect the game, uh, give the stars. Um, Lee, who's in chat, will let me know when the stars come in and what, what you're looking for. If When you're doing it, let us know if you're just contributing or if you're contributing towards one of the goals you see here. So um, basically, 5,000 stars gets you one of the enchantments, which I'll give to the entire party. It's a whole assortment of things. And um, the, you basically have re-rolls. And uh, a couple other things that you can do, uh, giving the party as well. And we have a feature where you can speak as one of the NPCs in the background, and that's pretty fun too. So um, if we could, uh, Percival, if you could put the, put the um, the stuff up in the chat so they can read that as we go forward, not just on the screen right now. And um, yeah, those are your ways to affect the game and get involved with Audio Dungeon today. So without further ado, let us start Audio Dungeon. Seven people will play a game like never before. Those of you just joining us, welcome to Audio Dungeon, the Celestial War. Last week, some interesting things happened, and an old, well, not too old, but an old arch nemesis, <laughs> an evil immortal uh, that you guys met in hell, the core of Indaria, has escaped behind you. And he's traveled uh, out of the core into the dark, which is the underground layer of Indaria, which is where you guys still are. And you guys right now are at the dwarven city of Ironstone, and last week, had a massive, massive battle. Uh, it was a, we had a great time. A special guest, Joe Perry from Talk Around Riyadh uh, podcast, was on there. Was on with us. Uh, did a great job. Um, and um, you guys defended the uh, defended Ironstone. We had a lot of uh, cool ups and downs. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. And uh, you guys found out that mind benders were actually were the source of all the uh, mind flayer activity. They were actually trying to pretend that it was something else when, in fact, it was the evil archmage um, city, Solst, that was sending the wizards down here to try to, like, steal the uh, gems and such out of uh, uh, the dwarf's hands. Um, but also at the last moment where we ended, the immortal Dragano appeared. And that is where we're going to start today. Everyone remember your shares help, stars help. And um, ideas help. So they need ideas. <laughs> a lot of times they get super focused and super nervous about their characters because they're playing in front of you. And so sometimes they need a little help to give them some peripheral vision. So uh, definitely help us out and give us some advice. And uh, let's see if anyone is um, helping out right now. Let's say Joe Perry says, I killed it last week. He did. It was yeah. very yeah. good. Yeah. I think you should check out his podcast. I hear it's very fun. 
Yes, uh, Tom Kakosa, uh, self promoting, <laughs> and <laughs> is on the podcast <laughs> with Joe Perry nice job. and Jennifer Isgro. <laughs> oh, uh, so God. yeah, right. You'll see the donations for in there in stream. Uh, Scott Walter is congratulating Joe Perry. Thank you, Scott. And uh, without further ado, let us get into where we start. Stop last week on Celestial Wars. Yes. <laughs> Last time we left off, Dragano was hovering midair and coming out of the crevice in the center of the town. And he raised his hands up and he began to speak all of you. Now, you guys, he spoke to you. You now, uh, for most of you, I think most of you are together. Vinny, I'm going to allow you to be together with the group right now because you would have ran and caught up with them. This is happening uh, quietly because you don't, you're probably in game, you don't want to disturb anything. I'm going to give you one little quick round to talk to each other. Like one round, so make it like quick exchanges. Go ahead. I love you guys. <laughs> what the hell? What the hell are we supposed to do? Go. Let's just run. Let's get out of here. We gotta run. Yeah. Run where? Out away. Can we? Can we get to uh, the Red City? Red City. Yeah. Well, maybe the trunk. The only way to get to Red City is through the. I we had to go through the river. We have no way to get there. Staircase in there, staircase up. Um, I don't remember. Oh, we gotta do something. We can't stay here. If it's a third or a quarter or ten percent of these people say that's a good deal. Let's murder them. We're, there's no way we can make it. Finn, can you make us invisible? Uh, not in a second, but yes. Yeah. Okay. So why can't we get invisible and just go? All right. All right. You gotta know where good we're going. plan. All right. Mortals, bring the crystal rod to me. You hear him say the same thing he said last time, and you see dwarves are like look around the area, like all confused. A lot of them are looking at looking to the generals because remember they just finished a huge battle, and so they're all looking around trying to see like what to do. I'm gonna roll a morale check for all the dwarves right now who are. You guys know out of game. These dwarves are like they're loyal. Like, and the, to their king, and certainly you guys saved him before. So, unless I roll a one, they're not going to do anything. And we're going to roll this with Dan's die. Stop! Ah, yeah, no worse. No! Uh, oh. Why would you do why? that? Oh, Just to increase why? the likelihood this of a one. This is Christmas month. You know, like, if you look at the colors of that <clears throat> d20, that it could be like a Drogano die. A Drogano I roll it with your die. <laughs> this, this is our punishment, Dan, because you don't want to get rid of that <laughs> damn thing. Stop bringing it. Here we go, rolling it down, down the line. Let's see what we get. At 11. Don't see the, don't see the two ones joke. <laughs> don't see the two ones joke. <laughs> it's two ones! <laughs> I, wanna, I wanna like slap myself in the face every time I hear that joke now. <laughs> Although I make it too, and then I get mad at myself immediately. <laughs> so um, the dwarves kind of kind of stand firm. The ones near you just look at you and they kind of just like, you know, re-posture their stance. Nothing happens. No one says anything. You see, like, soldiers are moving around, like, trying to take position. And you see, like, all hellish fiends are coming out around him, like, just, like, gathering. Where, where's the king right now? The king is near you. I, We're all together. I, I turn to him, like, we, we need to get out of here. It's more important that you get out of here. Agreed. We'll distract them. But, which, which way? We, we don't even know where we're going. There's a lot of ways you can go out. You can go out the way the, the dragon went. You can go out through the, the mine. There's a couple ways out there. Or the, the way you came in is a, a way you can climb up there. Just so get out fast. Dragon way. Dragon way. I dragon agree. Way. He cleared yeah. it He cleared it pretty well. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, yeah, let's buff. Let's, let's. So you, you hear his voice again. So be it. Ironstone's days are done. <sighs> You see, all of a sudden, he, you guys, like, start turning around and making a run for it. You see, you're looking over, and you're looking at def the, the direction, and you see Joe Perry's character uh, from last week is there. Remember his character? Ro Rowan? Rowan. 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 Rowan darks me. So Rowan is there, and you see, actually see Rowan is high up, and it starts, like, it starts going, <laughs> casting spells, and you see um, the dwarves are, like, aiming, like, the, the crystals up, and you see Jacques is, is like, like, pulling on, on uh, Rowan, like, to get out of there, and, like, Rowan is, like, fighting him off. And Jacques, like you see, jumps down from far away, oh, and um, 
He, he's looking, actually looking in your, your direction. So you're thinking that he probably wants to do something. Uh, we're actually, we're getting a thing here. Hold on one second. Jeff, uh, each player, I guess it's plus two. Plus two, only one D20 attack and skill check. So Jeff uh, just gave uh, 595 stars. Each hey, player Jeff. gets to Whoa. a plus two to only one D20 attack or skill check. Uh, to a roll of their choosing during tonight's session. Wow. Ooh, nice. Oh, nice. Announce it ahead of time? Oh, yeah, yeah. So you, go, you, have, you have to. So I see what's happening. Yeah, so actually, it's one player. Um, I'll tell you what, you guys can just choose to use it. Whoever uses it first uses it. You could be diplomatic about it, or you can use it if you think you need it. And uh, thank you, Jeff. That's awesome. Thank that you, is Jeff. awesome. Thank you, Jeff. Do we, now, do we have to announce it before the roll? Or can we just add it to a, a roll? Um, I'm going to say before, to be fair. Before. Okay, right, so somebody use it in a good moment. Right. Yeah, whenever, Dan, yeah. You whenever, got it. whenever Dan has to do a save versus death. <laughs> <laughs> yes, which will be a few times today. <laughs> so you guys, you guys break out. You start running. You see Jacques at a distance. You hope he's going to follow, but you have to, you have to get the rod out of there. This crystal rod is the most important thing in the world right now. So you guys just start taking off. All the dwarves start moving in, and like I was telling you before, you see him put his put his arms out slowly. And this is a um, Elcross, a wizard that was taken over by Dragano. He's he's all. Uh, oh, it's Elcross again. Elcross's body is all messed up, it's all jacked up. and uh, oh, man. you can even see that the body is like all like the lap, uh, not lapidated, the uh, like uh, eaten away. Yeah, it's integrated. Interior and inside, yeah. you can see the orbs. Like, actually, you see one orb glowing all different colors inside of him. Like they recovered the orbs. Oh, and man. Man. So he puts out his arms, and you see lights like webs going out and hit all the crystals simultaneously in the entire cavern. Thousands. You see a lot of lights go into the mine, and you see him go like this, and you see like light is like pulsating towards him coming in, and you see the crystals go and, and like dim out. Wow. As you start running, you see the light goes, hits one of you. You feel the crystal is being affected inside you, but you're also beginning to run, so you're not taking too much time to think about it or what's gonna happen, but you do know what hit you. And you see him like sitting there, and you, you can feel and see it just like you're glancing over that like he's gaining power from this. You guys run and you split, Everyone uh, roll d20 for me. I'm not going to tell you uh, what 14. you need. Just roll that die. 13. Oh, I thought you rolled a one. No. 7. 19. 16. 16. 10. Okay. And we're going one for Jacques right now. 10. I gotcha. And Jacques rolls 15. Okay. So you guys you guys take off and the battle ensues. Now, uh, guys at home, up to you. Do you want me to roll this battle? I'll roll this battle, and we'll do the, uh, the the quick battle roll we do around the table right now, and we'll find out what happens to Ironstone, or I will leave it up to the drama of it, and we'll find out in the future or some other time. Right now, all you gotta do is let me know what you want to do. Um, tell you what, give me reds if you want to see the battle, blue if you want to leave it up to the drama of the future, and we'll find out then. Red now, blue later. Let me know. And guys, get those shares up because remember, those shares give bonuses to everybody. What do we have? Sh what do we have right now, share wise? Someone let me know in stream, or let me know in the room. How much? 84 shares, guys. Woo! All right. So you, got you, the, guys. you got the first bonus. Okay, so uh, you guys Plus one, then. You guys are running. I'm seeing lots of blues, more blues than reds. Okay. Okay. I like that. Yeah, All right. yeah I know. Yeah. Theater right. of the mind. Yes. That's it. We'll find, we'll awesome. find out later how much we boned another city <laughs> <laughs> that only offered us help. Well, I'm watching it right now. So yeah, it's mixed, but when it's not mixed, it's more blues by far. So you, you, you guys leave and run out, and you don't know what's happening. And we're going to start with the six of you without your NPC with you, without Jock, because he's not with you. You guys run and make your way uh, through the the uh, left cave and just start running through endlessly. You guys are like, tripping over rocks. You're getting up like you're scraping your faces. You just want to keep going. Get the ride out of there and uh, do everything you can. Role play while you're running. Go ahead. Hey, Finn. Just keep going. Uh, Jeff, Jeff just chose to give the bonus to Dan, by the way. Hey! All right. <laughs> oh, yeah! Long time. My man! Nice job. Long time viewer I see, Jeff is. <laughs> <laughs> Well played, Jeff. Right. Well played uh, indeed. Finn, is there any way you can use magic to hide the rod? Uh, not, ju not just the rod, no. And we'd have to kind of be stationary for that to happen. Right, you do know already out of game that the rod can't be detected. That's one of the features of the rod. That's one of the reasons you guys are still alive. Okay. Yeah. Do, we, do we know where the cave leads out to? 
No, nope. you've never been up here before. <laughs> but would you, you guys did come up here That's as right, far yeah. as where the bones were of the dragon. Correct. The Queen's Keep. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, just go there. Wow. That would be interesting. That would that would be a whole new level of terrible for you. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> getting used to it. From the far, from the farming pan <laughs> to the fire. Yeah, right. So, all uh, right. We, we just need to keep running. Yeah, right. We need to get go. the hell out of here. Right. Mm -hmm. Let's go, go. <laughs> yeah. All right. Mm. And that's yeah. Just booking. Okay, just so you guys straight keep, up running. You guys keep running. Uh, I'm gonna have to make some rolls behind you to see what happens, just so I know what's going on. Hold on one second. This music is my, my question is, what happens when we get to the end of this cave? What huh? What do we do? We're gonna fight a dragon. <laughs> I'm sure, the the DM will tell us what happens. <laughs> yeah, we well, see. that's what I'm that's what I'm worried about. <laughs> Look, I have to, it doesn't make a difference. Whatever's at the end of this cave is better than, is what's, better than what's at the front of it. You sure about that? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's impossible yeah. for it not to be. You sure about that? Pretty sure. <laughs> Even right. death sure. might be right. better. Like, that's the worst thing that there is <laughs> behind us. So the second worst thing is still better than it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you guys. Brother. <laughs> Logic. <laughs> they can be the queen and the archmage. And we'll go, all right, well, you know, right. we got a chance. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you guys uh, make your way, and you're just, you've been running for a while. You're getting tired. You guys have scrapes and dirt all over <sighs> your face. You know, if you're ever running just for your life in the, in the, in the dark, playing manhunt as a kid, yeah. uh, this is like that times 20 million. And <laughs> where did you play manhunt? <laughs> it's all over. Man. In a, in a cemetery with yeah. Satan is chasing you. Right. right. <laughs> I had active imagination when I was as a child. You're a hardcore manhunt player. Only so, guys, as a don't, child. don't forget, uh, Dan, you have that plus two bonus given you from Jeff, and uh, the rest of the crew has a plus one bonus uh, from the entire audience. So, thank you, audience. Thank you. Uh, you mm. guys travel for hours, and you don't see any sign of Dragano following you, which is odd. You feel like he's, why is he delayed? Uh, he's obviously a very powerful, what What the hell happened? Uh, you don't know what happened. And um, you finally get get to the point where like, you're just, you have to stop. Like you've been running like nonstop. And uh, you take a break behind you. You take a break after about like 15 minutes, 20 minutes of uh, hanging out there. And again, you, if everyone doesn't realize, you, they're underground. So this is just a large cavernous area, and they're just traveling more cavern and more cavern, trying to work their way out of the underground, and you're miles and miles deep down there. So wait, we take uh, a break after 15 minutes of running? No, you take oh, a break oh, after hours of running. That's what it sounded uh, yeah. like you said. No, sounded after, like you said yeah. after 15, 15 minutes of the break... Dun, dun, dun. Oh, oh, sorry. Okay. Okay. Sorry, sometimes I... <laughs> like, okay. We're not that okay. far after, away. after 15 minutes of the break, uh, you see a figure running up behind you. Is it... Our and, you, friend? and you see it's Shock. <sighs> and Shock's running up, and he looks equally as tired. And still there, and he gets up, and he's like, he stops. And he goes, goes oh, that was bad. Glad you made it. Yeah, thank you. What happened, Shock? <sighs> After you guys left, um, they started killing everybody. <clears throat> it was, it was terrible. The uh, the dwarves they tried to try to aim the crystals at the at the. Dragano, but it didn't do much. The fiends and, and the hellish things attacked. They, uh, they were fighting them, but I don't know what's going to happen. We what have to get out of here. It's terrible. What about Kilayo? I didn't even see him. I was just battle everywhere. Well, that you're, you're that you made it out. Well, we, we need to rest a little bit so we can continue on. I mean... Yeah. Is, is anybody injured? I, I don't know. Is anybody injured? <coughs> Just a uh, little. Minor scrapes and things like that. Uh, you don't see anything. Um, Jacques took uh, a couple of slashes uh, pretty bad from the the battle, which I wrote before. Um, but he's he made it out. So m mostly everybody's just exhausted. They're just Jacques tired. Is hurt. Jacques is hurt. I have a good bit of damage, too. Yeah, from I have battle. a little damage from last time. Yeah, you, yeah. Guys, just, you guys just fought a huge battle. Like, still. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Cause, yeah, we right. I'm hurt. Yeah, I so mean, I'm not. I'm alright, but I'm hurt. No. Yeah, so last week you fought an ongoing mm -hmm. fight out of out of one tunnel coming <coughs> from the dwarves from Rock Bottom, the Duger dwarves. And then you fought the hellish fiends coming out of the, uh, the crevice, um, and you guys escaped the only other ca cave that was right there, uh, backing out. So, as Jacques describes, it was just pandemonium when you saw it, and, and when you left, it was even worse. All right, Todd Tobacco, welcome to the stream. Hey. Uh, we're trying to get Todd Tobacco onto our uh, new build and battle show. So nice. 
Todd, if you're, if you're still there, hopefully uh, you guys uh, want to come on and uh, very nice and D&D with us. Yeah. Fresh uh, meat. <laughs> I, uh, I look for get? a uh, portion, a portion of the cavern or the tunnel that that seems like a choke point. Something that if I collapse, I could stop. Uh, okay, you do see something like that. Okay. Uh, all right, I'm gonna see if I can knock this down. So what are you doing? You're, you're, try, you're trying to block off the tunnel is basically what you're saying? Yep. Okay. Is that behind us? Yes, yeah, behind us. <laughs> no, fr- over there, right? Right in front, in front of, of us, so we can't go no further. I'm <laughs> right. um, sure. Yeah, he's talking all right, about I, ju- I, shoot the, uh, I shoot the roof with a lightning bolt, try and just knock the, ro- the roof out, collapse it. Okay. So you so you uh, move the, the parties move ahead of that point, and you try to knock everything down. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you, you fire it, and um, roll, roll D20 of an intelligence check just to see how you're aiming. 19. Okay, so you do an excellent job, and you collapse most of the tunnel in that area. Okay. This will slow, you know, physical beating is down. <laughs> 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 not gods, but, you know. I'm definitely not coming back here. <laughs> I think I'm done with the underground. If we get down here, I'm good for a very long time. Yes, I don't even want to, like, use a tent. Yes, <laughs> no tents. It's too tense. It's too tense. <laughs> what? Oh, jeez. What? <laughs> I can't make, it, make a joke. Oh, no, man. <laughs> Tell me when you do make a joke. <laughs> One time I went to the doctor, and the doc, I said to the doctor, I go, Doctor, uh, I had a dream. I am a wigwam. Oh, my God. And At least I said the humor's still here. And then I had another dream, and I said I was a, a teepee. And I said, Doctor, what does it mean? And he says, Easy, you're too tense. Too tense. Wow. I'll be in the oh, party forever, guys. God. <laughs> <laughs> when, when is the best time? <laughs> Go to the dentist. <laughs> w- when? When? Two thirty. <laughs> <laughs> that is a whole garden. <laughs> 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 oh <my God. laughs> tooth thirty. <laughs> Bite my tooth thirty. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do this. Today. I really can't. <laughs> That's oh great. my god. <laughs> and on, the, on that tooth hurting joke, we just reached a 100 shares, everybody. <laughs> <Ooh. Yes. laughs> they liked nice it. Job. Oh, nice. Thank you. Thank you. Next to 230. Oh, 230. Oh, 230. Oh, but someone was like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pressing share. 230. That was funny. That's some funny stuff. All right. All right. Uh, <laughs> Thank uh, you, guys. So, can we take a sh- I guess, a, a, some sort of a rest? No, we gotta, I can't walk anymore. So, yeah, we need to like just sit yeah. for a bit. Do, um, do you want to use the um, mm. the spell to put us in the yeah I can the protective uh, barrier again? I could do that if we want to take a rest for a few hours. Well, I think that's what we're getting at, right? We right? probably like, should. Yeah. I don't want to take a rest for a few hours yet. I don't. Not, I, wanna, no? I don't know. Not I, 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 I think we got to get out of these. Caves. I say keep going. Okay. Not to yes. interrupt interrupt with another joke, but I have to because Batman <laughs> just says the joke's been told and now it's past tense. <laughs> oh. That was amazing. If I give you experience, Batman, well, I am going to give you experience. Take, take, take 25 experience points for someday when it means something. <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing. Yes. That was fantastic. That was great. It's made my day. Don't, uh, don't, don't okay. feed them. Don't feed them, Batman. Yes. Do not feed the Batman. Don't feed the animals. It's like a, they'll get you. He's like a Mogway at 1159. Yeah, he is. <laughs> so you guys a rest. chicken wing. You guys rest for how long? We'll take a well, short. You want to take a short we, wait, rest? Wait, wait. Are no. we resting? No, no. I, I thought s- we were not going to rest. Yeah, like we're re- like sit down, catch our minutes. breath, try to get strength in our legs, and keep going. That's like, what I want. Like to do. five mm-hmm. minutes, ten minutes. Well, he already said we've been resting well, do you want, for twenty oh, minutes. Oh, all enough, right. for, enough for Jacques to be able to keep going. So let's five take a, I'm go- a short okay. rest. Is an hour. I want to sing a song so I can help heal. It's Archie. probably almost been an hour because he said there was like fifteen. We were fifteen minutes into the rest earlier. Yeah, I mean. It, just tell me how long we're doing. <laughs> you want to rest, guys? <laughs> you want to take a short rest or you want to take a long rest? I don't want to take a long rest. rest. All right. A short rest. So a short rest will let you recoup HP. So if we take... Okay. Right. okay so you're resting how for an hour. How long is a short rest? An hour? An hour. Okay. All right. Okay. You're resting for an hour. All right. What do you okay. take? Will that help your level? heal? Uh, it's, will that help well, heal your, up it's a your, bit? Whatever, However many hit dice. But well, it depends on your level and your hit die. So if you're oh, level geez. eight and you have a D6 for hit points, you can roll a D6 eight times. On a short rest? On a short rest. That's crazy. All right. Eight times? Well, whatever your level is. Level Excellent. Nine. So nine <laughs> times. <laughs> Holy crap, really? Okay, uh, Jacques goes asleep. I'm not going to do a first watch. I'm in pain. So we're taking a long rest? No, we're only going to rest no. for like an hour. Or oh, did I am going to sleep for 59 minutes. <laughs> minutes. <laughs> you got it. All right. Uh, 
Um, okay, so everyone is actually... Some of you might be going to sleep. Who's not sleeping? Who's, who's up? Okay, the two of you have a conversation, and the rest of you are resting. Go for it. You have any way to get us out of here faster, by any chance? Not much faster. I don't know where I'm going. Well, there's only one way to go, and it's that way. <laughs> yeah, not nothing that's going to, like... I can't, like, accelerate our rate of speed mm -hmm. or anything, like, for any long period of time. Like, I got flies in the bag in case we come to a place where we can't cross. I don't want to waste them now. Uh, and, like, Dimension Door is not... Yeah, you know, that's hundreds of feet. It's not uh, that's, not, that's not really going to do us much. That's so, a, that's the, like if there's a cave in or something like uh, that. I uh, guess we're running. Yeah, that's it. Just All right. motivate. Right. There's, um, there's a crystal rod. It still uh, looks very low energy. I take it out and take a look. You take out the crystal rod, and it looks like the most lifeless crystal you've ever seen. And you're, you're guessing that it maybe was even hit during the thing. Or it's just still wiped out from when you use, overused it. Well, we we know the rod can be recharged, right? Yeah. And the rod feeds off of other magical energy. Mm -hmm. You think any way you you think it could feed off of your magical energy? I could try. I mean, I don't think we really can do much with it right now, but. <laughs> All right. Um, let's just see if it works. I cast like a like a light spell into the crystal. To try and see if I can give it a Okay, you, you catch the spell on the on the, the crystal. Um, you see the crystal shimmers for a second. Um, no signs of it doing what you intended. Okay. Maybe it needs a more powerful source. Yeah. Like the tree. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't. I don't come across the. You know, I'm not. I'm not nothing, but I'm not. You know, <laughs> I'm not nothing. You <laughs> I'm not, five foot nothing, hundred pounds of nothing. Yeah, I'm not like a world supporting magical device. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. that's more accurate. Uh, you know, uh, pale in comparison. I, I, yeah, I don't know. Well, um, it was worth a shot. Yeah, definitely. Um, I guess you know, honestly, I just want to like take the time, and I've not had much time to do this, and just examine the rod, like mess around with it. Like, see what not not like he's one hundred percent right. He has right, yes. but like no, but when you said mess around with like, it, I was like spend some time trying to identify what it can do. You, you allow him to yeah, yeah, yeah just me and him sitting here, yeah. Okay, so uh, you p pull out the rod, you start checking it, and uh, to describe the rod, the rod is actually built as, as you know by Arky Fint, and you're actually looking at his craftsmanship. And your first thoughts are looking at it, and you're like, well, the craftsmanship is amazing. It's hard to look at the rod and not notice that. And what it is is he they took dwarven steel, which is the strongest steel known. Um, it only pales slightly to ironstone steel, which, you, which is where you just were. And uh, you see at the end of it, they used um, the forest wood of the elves, and that wood actually is almost like it's purposefully grabbing the steel and going forward and actually grabbing uh, the crystal. So um, it's something very interesting to look at. So the crystal is being grabbed by, the, by that wood, and um, that's what you know is physically. Now, what do you do magically? Um, so, um, I try and, I try and, like, study it as if I were studying, like, a, like a spell book or something like that. I'm just trying to, like, see, you know, uh, like, I know in the past if we've used it as, like, a, a, a melee weapon, like, it, magical effects happen. So I kind of try and see what I can determine the cause of that is, like, how it, how the crystal works. Okay. That's the goal of my study. Let's put it that way. So you do this for about roughly a half an hour. Um, roll d20. Looking for a 15 on a DC. Knowledge or can. No. <laughs> Good stomach save. <laughs> Try it. Actually. No. Nah, just, just wait. How much do we get? Sorry. Oh, no. That's, that's only two attacks. Ah. Okay. Mm. No. I was going to say something. I was like, oh, it's so two attacks. Yeah. Only. That, nope. I'll fight two. Okay, so uh, you check it out, and you feel like if, maybe perhaps if I had more time and a better location, I could do this, but... wasn't, you know, constantly afraid that Satan was going to come and eat me. <laughs> <laughs> right. As you do in life. Yeah, it's, it's hard to focus, but yeah, I don't know. I <laughs> so, okay, so that ends uh, your, your rest. You see everyone's starting to come back up, you know, kind of like feeling out the hour. And uh, shot gets up. Uh, <laughs> I still feel like crap. You look as good as always. 
<laughs> was that the comment? <laughs> <laughs> sure. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um. So okay. yeah, we maybe we should get, get moving. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Okay, you guys continue on your way. Um, you walk for a, about a little bit over an hour more, and you reach a, uh, a large um, <clears throat> push out in the cavern. Um, in this larger cavern you see in front of you, um, there actually are caves on the other side of it. But all over the cavern is like you saw last time in last episode when you traveled up here. And you see all over this this uh, area, which is very disturbing to and you. And here it comes. <laughs> is the bones of apparently the dragon that was there. And the bones are huge and lay scoured out throughout the entire cavern. Lots of bones everywhere. What, what happened? What caused this? I don't know. I, actually, let's take a look. We didn't really do that because I just said, let's get the hell out of here the last time we were here. But uh, uh, I, I tried to examine the bones and see if we can determine from, like, like how they got that way. Are there any... Scorch marks or acid marks or things of that nature. You check uh, you check through the bones. Um, raise, huh. your hand, raise your hand, everybody, if you guys are looking through like Tom is or you're just waiting. Mm-hmm. I'll, I'll look through. I'll okay. look. I'll help them. So most of you are looking through. Okay, so you all kind of look through. Everyone can roll a search check. Uh, you guys, you need high and... Um, no, I don't. Actually, just tell me your numbers because actually for some reason... What's a couple different reasons. Intelligence? Anybody? Investigation, nope. yeah. Intelligence. Seven. Okay, you're the one I was going to give you more pluses, too, because of your background. 16. 16? 21. 10. 18. Okay, so a lot of you don't come up really with anything. Uh, You're just not knowledgeable in this this area. Nothing you see. Um, You're pretty sure that all these bones had a magical enchantment on them. Or part of a magical enchantment. You're not quite understanding. Yeah, uh, these were... I think I think there was a spell on them. They, they were enchanted somehow. Mm. Are they still enchanted, or are they were enchanted? Uh, perhaps we should go. I guess attack magic. You cast attack magic. You see all the bones light up. And yeah, they're still magical. I want to oh. take a second and thank Batman for ten star donation. Thank you, Batman. Yeah. Thank all right, Batman. Batman. Thanks. Woohoo! All right. Yeah. So, what's that mean? I don't know. They could be reanimated. They could be cursed. I think we should go. Yeah, we have to go through them. Is my Let's understanding? Go. It's the only way Let's we got. It. Let's go. Right? Let's There's no go. way around them, right? There's no way around them. No, you kind of have to walk through. Are they together, or are they collapsed? I would say more collapsed. If I had to answer. You. <laughs> yes and no. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough. Um, I don't like this. Batman suggested you, Tom, to study your spell book that you got in the other quest. I was, I was going to yeah. say it right before we finished the rest. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. I think I need a lot more time to work on that, though. I, yeah. I have an idea that I need, like, yeah. a, a, like, a, like a while. Mm-hmm. But if I get a long rest, I'll, I'll, I'll do that, Batman. I want to take a small uh, Batman's asking if, if it can be, if the can the rod be charged <laughs> by it? What is it? Mm. By the oh. bow. By the idea. By the oh, that's... yes. Thank you. You don't know. Uh, Jamie Lynn Robinson says, can you touch the rods to the bones to repower the crystal? <gasps> yes, Jamie. Good. This is good. So, see, this is why we crowd Good ideas. Yeah. I don't know if we should shot. do that, though. I don't know. That's I think we need to do a shot. Well, I think we need to do a shot. We started with a dragon. We started with a dragon. I think that we should just leave, but okay. We know we, we know there's a dragon in here. We know there's a, a god? Some, some a being? <laughs> somewhere down the line. Yeah. yeah. Um maybe? I don't what I do don't you know. what do you think? Uh well it kinda worked with your light spell, so I something mean, happened. This is this is obviously I think it's a good idea. Just I touch it. it. I touched one of the bones with the, with the rod. Okay, Jeff uh, Sanford just said, "Put the rod near the bones. Don't touch the bones." <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> see, Jeff. Oh. See, there's a reaction. Oh. Too late for that. Oh, yeah, the ba- Batman was confirming the bones when he met. Okay, so you take the rod and you put it onto the bones, and you see what happens. Oh Jesus! The dragon. <laughs> oh my God! Nothing happens. The Night King. All right. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Nothing happens. Yeah. Yeah. So. Because uh, yeah. when we did it to a tree, we just kind of like touched it to a tree, and it just 
Uh, maybe like the tree like, emanates magic, and this has magic on it, and oh. there, there, there could be a difference there, or maybe just a power level. I don't know. I actually know a little bit about this because of my master Onyx. Um, I think, and I don't know why, um, I think the difference is that the tree has light. And it is more pure and magic. Oh, so it's more it's more it's more light born than yes. magic. We went on a quest to find uh uh this was probably about a a year ago now, I guess. We went on a quest to find um the uh the crystalline properties that are making up the, the crystals. <clears throat> you know, before it's forged by dragons. And um Onyx was saying that the the crystals are empowered by souls. Mm. And souls are direct from the light of the ancients. And I'm saying words I don't quite understand. But that's, <laughs> but that's it. Somehow that works. Okay. I, I, I mean, I'm getting the, the short, you know, the, the drift of it. And so, yeah, like a, maybe magic on so, the, a skeletal the dragon is not going to power a soul power creature. The next, the next question would be is, do you know what type of magic is on these bones? No. Yeah. No. I know that it is magical. I, I can tell how strong it is. Strong. It's strong. <laughs> Let's try and shatter. How strong? Strong as a small pony? It's quite <laughs> strong, then. <laughs> Let's try and shatter one bone and see what happens. Yeah, let's... <laughs> once again, I say No, I go. would say... I want to take a bone. <laughs> I also <laughs> think we should just go. We need to do something with these bones. <laughs> nope. No, we don't. <laughs> Far away. No, what if, no what we if, don't. What if, Let's you know, just go. Just no, take a toe bone. Hear right. me out. What if we put the bones together and form the dragon? Then he will obey us. So like yeah. <laughs> oh my god! Wow, you guys have lost it. Uh, I was what? Scared. Guys, okay. I don't want to form any dragons. Let's I want go. to form a beeline out of here. Let's go. I yeah. agree with Jacques. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm, on the Jacques, I'm on the Jacques train here. I, All right, I, I, I start walking. Batman says, Necromancer! <laughs> I start walking. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. I would. I would. Jeff Sanford, Eddie Izzard. That's right. Very good. <laughs> don't blame me if we ever need a skeleton dragon and we don't have one. Why don't we just take the mouth <laughs> okay. part? Okay. I, I'll tell you this right now. If we ever need a skeleton <laughs> dragon, yes. I will not blame you for us not having one. All right. That's all I ask. It's a <laughs> I, I begin to follow the rest of the short. Yeah, I, I started walking. Yeah. I, I already started walking. I am Let's not go. sticking around in this okay. place much longer. I'm so done. I just get, uh, the before, next dragon we done. come across. I'm Tales of Kondo yeah. says before you walk, activate the green crystals and walk through. Constance Turner says, I want to take a bone. Famous last words. <laughs> uh, Jamie, Jamie Lynn Robbins says, Oh God, he's building a dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Jamie Lynn Robinson says, isn't that how Jurassic Park started? Who's <laughs> 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 that? Bringing it around. Yes, Jamie. Yeah. 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 Look at that. And Carly uh, Tuxin says, killer dragon broth. <laughs> 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 and Le 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 Leopold goes, mm. That's great. <laughs> I'll, uh, nice. I'll activate my axe crystal. Okay, taking a, taking a, Take uh, some advice for Taylor. Sure. Very Absolutely. good. Yeah. Absolutely. Very good. And Taylor. you die. Thank you. Yeah, no. That was the trap. <laughs> you fell into it. Um, oh, damn. You activate the uh, crystal, and you notice it doesn't go on. Oh, no. Wow. It doesn't even light up. Because oh, he took all of them. Ruh, ruh. Man, Can I, I, try and, oh, I try no. and levitate with Drugano. my Drugano. crystal? Do I, do I still the have the scars on my face? You still have a scar on your face. I still have a scar on my face. <laughs> still... But it's not uh, red anymore. Oh. Me too. You're I still ugly. I, guess <laughs> I just have a scar. <laughs> yeah, same thing. Well, there goes that. <laughs> Alrighty then. <laughs> Cross. Well, at least I know. At least you know. Right, What's right. Dragano? Better to find out now than. Right. Yes. When you need it, need it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> now. Possibly fight it. Enchanted. So you guys, uh, well, just to finish, so you guys walk on. Raise your hand as you're walking forward, please. Oh, yes. Okay, so you guys are walking on. So now that we've pretty much exited the area, and you also clasp behind you, I just want to out of game say, I thought, <laughs> I thought, you were going to use a collector's coin. Ooh. Oh wow. Yeah. No, we have to Earlier. rest. Oh. We rest for an hour. Collect this no, coin. No, I didn't remember the dragon. Okay, never mind. No, I thought I thought for Dragano. Uh, I thought we, you were going to use a collect this coin. We, 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 wow. we, we were talking about it a little outside. Oh, did you? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I thought, I'm, so, I I'm surprised. Not. It worked out. I mean, you got away. You'd have to use it, but, you know, Iron Cell's not doing so well. <laughs> <laughs> Does Jacques have a coin? We, yeah. didn't, we forgot. Jacques does have a coin. He does. Okay. <clears throat> not from this quest. He has it from prior. Okay. From an act, from a played quest on my uh, my Sunday group. Mm, okay. <laughs> That's right. So yeah, he has a coin. Um, okay, so you guys 
you guys travel. Who just did a Peter Griffin? So you, you, you guys travel on. There are uh, two caves out of here, left and right. One leaves northeast and one leads northwest. Does one lead up and one lead they, down? No, they both lead up. So I use okay. my one's dwarven a uh, cave, cave, uh, Ooh, cave skills to be go like... Go for it. Hmm. <laughs> Which one seems red keepier? Red keepier. <laughs> the Kardashian one. Uh, northwest. Should I roll for this? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Eleven. <laughs> <laughs> not, Wait, not we get the plus one. I, I got. No, I don't know. Okay, so you you, anything to you that look at them and you confirm that it's it, it is going up, and <laughs> this one goes up. <laughs> Take up, you, stupid. You, you also Take confirm. Up. You also confirm that they're both made of rock. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and you do believe, which is the useful part. <laughs> you do believe that the north west one. Make sure I get it right. Think of the map. Think of the map. Got it. Mm. You do believe that the northwest one uh, actually will take you towards the red key. All right. I convey that. <clears throat> I think yeah. it's this way. All right. Hmm. You, Let's go. That's never, where we're going. You've never, you've never led us wrong in the caves before. Is this tunnel? I've never led you anywhere in the caves. <laughs> 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 no, no, no. no. Is this, far, far, so your record's clean. Is wanted, this tunnel smaller I than the you. one that we just left, or <laughs> is it the same size? Uh, is it the same size? The tunnels get smaller than the cavern you were just in. Uh, okay. Batman says, light a torch and look at where the smoke goes. These are TD players here right now. Batman, good That's job. Good. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Uh, Jeff Sanford says, moss grows on the north side of the cave. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that works in caves, too. I knew it works on trees. Beds of kills. I like that. Yeah, is there... <laughs> Jeff Sanford says, so Tony's mad, LOL. LOL. <laughs> 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 Joe Perry says, Rowling yells. He's not there. Not that I care, but I told you we should have dealt with the dragon last time. <laughs> <laughs> He's not there. But oh, you, you, you imagine you might say something like that. Oh, Actually, like you know that. what? To put, that, to put that in game for you, Joe, uh, Jacques says that. He goes, oh, yeah. Rowling said, not that I care, but I told you we should have dealt with the dragon last time. And that was the last words I heard him breathe. <laughs> yes. I don't care. <laughs> just, I just <laughs> Don't care. <laughs> so, mm-hmm. all right. So we're going northwest. Onward. Northwest. Uh, Scott Walter reminds Scro is saying he scrolls a second item with a gem to check. That's right. I do. I know. Thank you. Thank you for the. Hey, this guy. I know. I know. Oh, that's cool. I just did. I mention I know. It didn't come up in conversation yet, but yeah, that's true. I could probably tell visibly because I have it around my neck. So if I look at it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, both of probably you. looks oh, less gems. bright than it used to. Actually, mine aren't glowing. Oh, no, it doesn't. Not. Actually, the gems that you have in there that are encased in that thing yes. I told you they're encased in yes. seem to look the okay. same. Wow. <gasps> but not the ones nice. we Ingested. absorbed. Right. <coughs> right. Interesting. Mm-hmm. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> you don't feel any difference with your intelligence. I, I was going to. Yeah. yeah, you don't. Huh? You don't feel any different. We have three left. I've only three ever plus had two one, is so. one now, though. <laughs> my, it's a little bigger, yeah. <laughs> you I feel great. Had How'd that work out? My intelligence. <laughs> just, just a bit of negative from your intelligence. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're fine. Um, okay, so you guys travel on. Travel on. You go uh, up the uh, north. Sorry, you go up the, uh, no- <laughs> the north. Northwest. Uh, don't sing the songs I sing, okay, Brooke. I can't. It's not the it. Brooke show. I can't help it. Especially with that band. I'm one. Very what? Careful. I'm one. What are you talking show? about yes. right now? Are you talking about Led Zeppelin? You try yeah. to say Led Zeppelin is not a good band? No, I'm saying that we should not be singing Led Zeppelin. Because they will find us. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> oh. 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 They're not covering us. break down the door. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I'm going to be like, Brooke, it's your show. Stop singing. <laughs> <laughs> I just dropped my 20. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what Plant would say. <laughs> Oh Lord! Um, it's not my show. <laughs> Loot uh, could be played by Robert Plant. <laughs> oh, I don't think we got, I don't I, think we got the stars yet to cover a uh, a twenty minute clip of that a twenty second clip of that song. <laughs> <laughs> nope. But I, 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 we need more stars. <laughs> hurry! The lawsuit is impending. <laughs> I, I do we now, just got the email. I'm now picturing the loot <laughs> as, as Robert, Robert Plant. Plant me though. too. It's oh perfect. my God! It's curly it's kind of hair and everything. Robert Plant, if you are watching Audi Dungeon right now, <laughs> that's how I pictured the loot. Actually, please call us. <laughs> what else are you doing? Long curly. Yeah. <laughs> 
else you do these Being days? famous. He's doing Ma- a lot of stuff. Making millions, sitting on his couch, doing nothing. <laughs> so, you, <laughs> sort of yeah. like now and again. so you guys travel up the Northwest Passageway, and it's, it's pretty much half climbing and half just making your way through the tunnel. Uh, the tunnel at times is kind of rigid, and at times it gets uh, rather small to climb through. You uh, climb up, and the, as you notice, the dragon did not make it this far. Yay. So um, you guys are climbing through, but you do feel like that it's going in a positive direction. Um, you guys travel, and eventually you start hearing water. You're traveling up, 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 and up. And do me a favor, both of you roll a D8, and that's how many hours it takes you going up. One. Six. Seven hours you guys go up, and you reach a <laughs> point where you come up, and you reach like a high point. And like you kind of stop, and like you're just exhausted. You're, it's a good time to rest. You're thinking probably. Uh, you're looking over the ledge, and what you see is that the ledge just drops right back off, as if you would undo all the climbing you just did. And you see there's a stream, which you can only imagine comes in from the passageway that you took took prior. And that stream is going um, west to east, mm. not in the direction that you want to go. Um, on the one thing at a time. So that stream goes goes across. Now you look forward and you see you're in a large cavern. Picture like the Minecraft cavern, uh, just all, all different things coming out. It's very elaborate. You're looking across and you see um, a ledge that is probably about almost a hundred feet across. Okay. Um, on the other side, there's lots of rocks and different things, but it looks like this path continues but it continues across this ledge area. To your sides, you see that the ledge gets very thin, very thin, and crumbles away, and the other side just goes into a large uh, wall right there. You're pretty much at a point where you're either going to cross, you're going to jump into that water, which would probably kill you because it's very far down. Um, seven hours of travel up, down <coughs> almost. And, uh, or you're going to head back to the, to the safety of Ironstone. I'm, I'm, I'm confused. Can ah. you can you just lay out the the ledge again? So you're you're staying at that ledge. If you look left, you see the ledge is crumbling. Not, no nowhere you can travel. Okay. If you look right, you see that it's basically just a wall just going up. You could try to climb up, but looking up, it just goes to eventually a top somewhere. No no sign of any way out. Um, in front of you, you see there is a gap, and the gap is about almost a hundred feet. On the other side, you see similar outcroppings of rocks and stuff like that. Another ledge. It's almost like you're looking at another, another crevice, and you're on one side, and that's the other. And you see that that the path almost not that really a path, but you do see an area where you could travel continues on the way. On the floor, in front of you, all the way down, is that that uh, river or, or passageway or water passageway that's just traveling um, going that we, east. That we took the boat down, probably. Mm. <laughs> it could be the same one. It could be the same area of it. It could be a different part of it. You don't know. That's where right now. Jacques just look at the area, just looking over. Oof, what about? That is a long way down, guys. What about up? What do we see if we look like up? Up just go, gets darker and darker and darker, and it looks like you can't really. You don't see an easy way to climb up. And if you did find it's find a way, and you were willing to climb up that, you know that would be very hard, almost sheer at times. And you don't see the point because you don't see any goals or anywhere to go. Okay. So you can try to climb up. Doesn't mean there's nothing there, but at your, at your first glance, we don't see like a. P- please tell me. No sign of light. From coming above, just or emptiness up. Right. Please, um, please tell me you have a way to get us across this. Uh, you, still, you, that? you are out of the flying uh, crystal thing. Doesn't seem to be working. I could use my steam boosters, but I don't know if it'll get me across. Mm. <laughs> I probably could if I use two blasts. I don't know what, <laughs> what they're talking about. <laughs> I don't think you want to use that one. <laughs> Uh, I have rope. Um, I have about a hundred feet, but <coughs> well, <it's> if <laughs> we can get if you can get over with the rope, maybe the rest of us can like All right. climb over. Uh, I can. No, I can let us fly. Uh, okay, Batman is saying, uh, why can't he use his suits to fly up? Um, yeah, he's just checking out. He's saying that he does have the blast from the suit, so technically he can try and make that jump. Try. Well, the, the blasphemy yeah, suit just gives you like a it's a, a jump, jump bonus, like a right? Jump yeah. So you were using it in conjunction with your levitation spell which to fly. Which gave me like a flying effect. Okay. Now it would just be a jump. Which... I will just I cast fly on us. Okay, good. Dan, uh, just Excellent. want to remind you about Jeff's bonus before he gave you right. a plus two bonus. It is still in effect. Well, well, you don't actually have to use all your all your flying uh, all your spell slots for fly because she can try I to. I can try to. Okay, so well, uh, here's my 
my my suggestion. What I'm going to do before you speak, just because it might help you, since there's, since there's no battling been done, meaning for a while, uh, like I said, I was going to do when we first started the stars, is I'm going to revert that bonus uh, from attacking to skills right now. So that two plus two bonus is going to be now to skill checks and not attacks. For the shares? For the shares. Unless you cool. want me to not do that. Your choice. I'll give you the option to switch it over mm. to skills, but then it stays there. You can only flip it once. I'm not going to give you another chance. I would leave it at the attacks. Leave it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Really? Leave it at the attacks. Yeah. Right. Raise your hand if you want it on the attacks. Because he's got fly, man. <laughs> One, we can two, get this. three. Yeah. Someone's got, also got to vote. All right, fine. Leave it on the attacks. Four, leave it on the attacks. Fine, fine. Okay, so it's still in the attacks. All right. Um, yeah, my, my thinking is cast fly. We all fly over there. Carly we says dimension for- door. I can't dimension door everybody at once. I'd have to spend a lot of those spells. And I, uh, this one, I can cast it. It's an hour for everybody. We fly over. We find a nice place to camp. And then I sleep for quite some time because we've been climbing for seven hours. And, On top uh, of running for God knows yeah. how long. <laughs> and, and my everything hurts. <clears throat> oh, that too? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> that, yeah, that too. My soul yeah. hurts. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that's, that's that's my thought, right? We go, we fly over, we look for a good plus place to. We fly the length of the spell. We can do that too. We, uh, yeah, we go, we find oh. a place that we think is a good place to go, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, where we can land safe, look safe, look stable, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. All right, let's do it. All right, you guys like, oh, walk up to the edge and you feel like the wind is like, really kicking up. Mm-hmm. I cast, uh, I cast fly on everybody. Cast fly. <laughs> you catch fly. Whoa, this is nice. Shock mm. rises up. The rest of you guys rise up. And uh, who's the first one to fly over? Oh, boy. Who, uh, fl- um, who flies first? I do. Oh, wait. I do. You fly first? Oh, God. Yeah. Okay, and you fly uh, to the other side? I uh yeah. <laughs> I fly to the other side and I use my spy glasses to see if I can. Hi, see I'm Tony, anything man. That way. What I like to do is try to mess with people. <laughs> and, I, and I do that by asking them very simple questions in a very weird way. And sometimes I freak them out, and it's some of the enjoyment that I still have left in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Now back to audio dungeon. <laughs> You fly first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I fly, I fly across the river. <laughs> okay, so you fly over. You're gonna have to make a jump check because this is, these are boosters now, and you don't have you're not light anymore. But he has no, he's got the fly, fly spell on him. Oh, I'm sorry, you have fly spell on. I'm sorry, <laughs> because I made an hi. I'm Tony. <laughs> Sometimes they make announcements and they may cause me to forget things. <laughs> uh, okay, so you fly over with no problem, and uh, you make it to the other side, and you're first there, and you maybe you yell first. I don't know. I do that too. Do I see anything <laughs> around? No. No, I don't see anything around. So is there any passageway from... So let's go across. What are we yes, for? that continues on. Like yes, I was answering the I question as if there is an, anything else of interest. Anything else. But the, as so I, I use my spy glasses to look down that tunnel on the other side. Do I see anything? Which way do you look? Is how many ways are there to go? The way that we were so going you can or look, the way back? You can look the tunnel going forward as if the path was going to continue on your side now, on your new side. Mm-hmm. Right? Right. We're going to call that north, because that's pretty much the north. We'll send you kind of know that direction for you were doing. So looking north as a way that the, the passageway goes, looking through, it just gets very dark, and you can see it looks about the same as you came in. It almost seems like there was something here, like a as if there was a bridge made of stone or something that allowed you to keep going, and this, and this was just interrupted by whatever. But it'd be weird. You just don't see any signs of it, but the path starts up here. You climbed up, and it does continue on the other side. It continues upward? Yes. Uh, roll a d20 for me also. Edge of, edge of wisdom. Four. Seven. <laughs> eh, le, eh. Uh, so you you look around your spyglass and you don't know <laughs> notice anything interesting. <laughs> this is a fun. <laughs> That's the worst. <laughs> That's the worst. <laughs> it's a fun time for me. <laughs> That's the worst. Ugh. So can we fly across this thing? Yeah, I yeah, said yeah. I do it. Come on, you fly guys. across. You land, 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 land. You look no, at the other landing. side and fly. land there. You, and Rob turns around with the spyglass, looks at you. Freaks out a little bit because you guys get in his way. <coughs> I thought we were gonna you see yeah, a giant wizard in front of you. Yeah, the, 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 plan, the plan, the plan is to keep flying down this tunnel so we don't have we'll to like for a good spot. Yeah. Like, okay. So you guys continue. We fly down. Um, the tunnel gets like it did last time. Gets smaller and gets bigger. It's very, it's very sharp, and um, at times gets a little dicey, and at times gets a little shady because it's a cave. Uh, so um, I'm on the roll today. Mm-hmm. 
So, uh... <laughs> oh my God. This we're might be my last session for here. a <laughs> camping spot. You don't like it here? <laughs> uh, you guys fly across. Uh, Dan and uh, Vin, please give me a D8 roll. A what? D8. D8. Four. Five. Four and a five. You guys uh, are flying for up to like nine hours, and you're simply exhausted. This is a, a full day's worth. You've only had a one-hour rest. You reach the ends of your limits, and you can't go any any more unless you want to go in with several m- severe minuses. Uh, you guys are forced to pretty much rest and set up camp, which you do. Yes. Um, yeah. You feel pretty safe because you've been traveling. There's nothing. There's not even. Uh, there's not a goblin. There's not even a bat. There's not even a snake. There's nothing. So you guys just kind of just kind of chill out. And listen to the uh, windy nothingness. Uh, let's have two players uh, role play that didn't role play last time. So not Tom, not uh, Vin. How about let's do uh, a Brook, a Brook and Damien talk. And the guys are pretty much resting, and you're doing a long rest. So we're gonna talk during the. Actually, we'll do we'll do a. I could do that because I only have to sleep for five hours. So. Okay, do a one, guys do a one minute uh, role play. Go for it. This is between uh, shifts. How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> How are you doing? How are you feeling, guys? Oh, better, but tired. Only, only Damien's up right now. Oh, okay, <laughs> she wakes you up. How are you feeling? <laughs> are you sleeping well? <laughs> Leave me alone. How are you sleeping? You don't look well. You should sleep. <laughs> so tired. I'm not breathing. <laughs> are you still alive? You have apnea. Okay. <laughs> I just keep thinking about Iron uh, Stone. I yeah. can't believe we left him. I mean, I know we had to. We had no other choice. It's just horrible. I know. Just terrible. We don't know the entire fate of it yet, though. I know it sounds the worst it could have been, but we don't really know. Yeah. I hope we get out of this cave soon. I'm really looking forward to some fresh air. Me too. Okay, I'm going to stop you guys right there. We're going to go to uh, Dan and Rob. You guys, Hogar and Arky Fint, you guys are, are talking between shifts. Shift change. Oh. Feeling better, Arky? Yep. I'm all rested up and ready to go. I I thought building the dragon bones was a very good idea. <laughs> it would have worked out well, but they're a cautious bunch. <laughs> I think you have very good ideas. Left Arky. side of the table. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, but I don't Sorry, know. Squirrel. What do you think when we get up to this red keep? I don't know if we're gonna find what everyone's hoping for. I think, I think, once we get there, we'll have some backup, and that's where we were told to go. That's where Paladine told us to go. So maybe we'll find some magical reinforcements. When we get there. I hope so. We have no other options, but I wonder what it's like up there. It feels like we've been down here forever. I know. It can't be any worse. Okay, we're right. Sl- we're right. S- nice jinx. Right. Yeah. <laughs> 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 My sleep, I'm like, we're no. Gonna, we're going to no. stop you right there. Uh, okay, so um, Jamie, sure. Jamie Lynn Robinson, uh, probably to uh, Damien and to Brooke, goes, how you doing? <laughs> 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 Batman says, can the bar do something to help the people who are sleeping? Uh, I'll allow you to go back in time and do something if you want to, uh, Brooke. That's a good idea. Um, Jamie, Lullabies. Jamie Lynn Robinson says, do you come, says, do you come here often? <laughs> <laughs> um, and she's just laughing at you guys. I sense uh, undead and other oozes. Ooh, yes, it, it is It is prime spot for oozes and undead. Uh, but no, there's no ooze. Just the gentle ahs of people sleeping. I'm sorry, I'm in a weird. Yeah, you you're, 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 you're really. You got it. Very good. Holy that smokes. Was, that, was, that was good? That, that was, was high good. quality. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, was, that was good. That, really? was, that was better than the test. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to, to keep it low quality. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's all right. Now you're starting to go low. So, so, so much for your lowbrow humor. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. Well, it's better. It was, uh, it was a better uh, class of pun, I guess. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. Um, so, um, do you want to, do you want to play anything while they're sleeping? I'm not, I'm not encouraging you or... I mean, is everyone healed up or... You don't know and they're sleeping at this time. This is like when you were on your shift, so I'm allowing you to do it. If you want to, that's going to give you six seconds. Okay. Um, I'll sing on my shift. <laughs> you sing. They're, they're going to love that. <laughs> I sing. What do you sing? I sing a healing song. 
Well, no, they were already healed. <laughs> what am I doing? I don't know. Exactly. <laughs> three seconds. Are you singing? Three, two, one. I, I sing. I sing. What do you sing? I sing a song. Oh, God. To oh, make sixpence. No. Pocket full of... Okay. No, I sing a song. Why? I'm waiting. Um, Tell us what you do! <laughs> um, <laughs> the suspense... <laughs> I just sing a song to energize them and relax them and You now I'm so relaxed. I'm so energized. <laughs> and and now I relax. I relax. <laughs> oh my god! And now I'm so peaceful. <laughs> I now charge you to sing a song that is both energizing and relaxing. Oh, Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, Brooke. Okay, okay, okay. And I can't be by Led Zeppelin. No, it's got to be the original song. All right. Here we go. Okay. Everybody sleep, sleep and keep. Keep your actions down, 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 down. Until we gotta run away! Until we gotta get away! Just relax. So much for sleeping. <laughs> relax. Come on, let's go! <laughs> That's it. That's it. That Jock wakes up like a pup, like a up. <laughs> <laughs> That's like when you're sick and you finally fall asleep. And your mom comes in and wakes you up <laughs> to make sure you're feeling okay. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sleeping Are you well? Sleeping well? <laughs> well, you know. Nice. Or. <laughs> that was hilarious. Okay. I want them to. Yeah. That was beautiful. Thanks. That was oh, beautiful. Oh, my God. <laughs> that, went, that went beyond, like. I'm going go, to go, go watch that moment later just so I can relive it. That was amazing. <laughs> I <laughs> bet you'll feel more energized and, and then relax. relax. Oh, yeah. You will. I did and then relax. energized relax. again. You'll guys, end up guys, if you were energized and relaxed, um, actually, I'll tell you what. So there are, there are four emojis here: the uh, laughing, the oh no emoji, the crying emoji, and the angry emoji. When Brooke uh, energizes and relaxes you, which emoji do you do? I want to see the emoji that you're gonna do and see what. Okay, it's a laughing one. It's an oh no one, laughing, 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 like laughing. Oh no, laughing, laughing. Oh no, laughing. And crying. <laughs> no. Thank you for the crying. Many emotions have been given and received that here. Was, that, that was See, that's what it does. all the colors of the rainbow. <laughs> that was gold. All, so I, that all was. I want to do is get to the red keep. <laughs> so now we continue with the quest and we move forward. And you guys travel <laughs> for um, uh, another bunch of hours. Uh, Damien and uh, Brooke came in his last rolls. My head, hurt. My head hurts from laughing. Oh, the, 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 the D8. D8. Alrighty. Oh, wait. Oh, oh three. Seven. <coughs> Okay, Ten seven and three. Ten hours. Now you guys made up. You, you did a. You didn't make some ground flying. The flying only lasted ten minutes. Um, yeah, I know. I, I thought it was an hour. We've, no, it's ten minutes. Yeah, we were just like, well, we we know what you meant. We just traveled after that. Yeah, so you got. I mean, you guys did give you a boost. You 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 flew through. Um, <clears throat> you guys traveled for another ten hours, and you're exhausted. You can't do another sixteen hours spree and one hour of, of uh, anything yet. You guys uh, continue it, but when you arrive, you start seeing dirt. On the ground, and for the first time, you're like, we could be wait out of this dirt. Uh, it's dirt. <laughs> oh, it's dirt. Oh, so excited oh. by dirt. It's, it's, it's like, <laughs> oh, oh, oh it, it's it's so dirty. It's so oh, soft. My oh, God. it feels so good. This is the origin of Oscar the Grouch right here. Yes. <laughs> uh, so he starts throwing the dirt in his face, and he's like, he he's like dirt in his mouth. Like, does this mean we're close? I think it does. Okay, because I just ate a lot of dirt. Okay. Yeah, it's probably so, not good for your teeth. You guys rest. I'm gonna, we're going to expedite the rest. Okay. You guys take, take a long rest. Uh, you guys are watching. You don't have any other problems. Uh, you guys start climbing up, and uh, you come to a point where the climb comes less up and more horizontal. And uh, you realize that you come up to a cave. Like an actual cave where I can feel breeze and... A little breeze. <gasps> Air. I do one of these. Air. <laughs> Air. <laughs> um, have we seen anything alive? No. Yeah. Oh, oh that's Jesus. A, that, that's a worry to me. Mm. 
All right. Okay. So uh, <laughs> moving that's on. on. So you guys, hey, oh, everyone, you guys walk. Nervous. You guys walk through through uh, what appears to be now a cave, and you're walking more horizontal, and it becomes more horizontal every every few minutes. And um, you're finally like getting your legs are just not like cramping up anymore with all the climbing, and uh, you're you're basically walking uh, through some sort of cave at this point. Um, Damien, I'll let, let you roll a check here, see if you're leading it. Um, I imagine naturally you might start taking the lead to help out because it's something you know about. You're a miner and a dwarf. Uh, which die would you like me to roll? Uh, roll d twenty. Okay, good. <laughs> A one. A one. Oh. Okay, Damien. So you take charge and lead them. <laughs> and oh, good. Good thing down. the cave only goes one way. I'm so glad so I did that. It, it did. It used to. Until I took that. So you guys, uh, you guys come to a junction, and Damien just sort of like makes his way <laughs> around the left, and you're like, I guess this is the way to go. He seems like perfectly confident. Of course, it's the way. And so he takes you in there, and it doesn't seem totally right, but like he seems confident. So not that we. Not that not that critical ones and critical twenties can count skill checks, but hey, we do count them here at Audio Dungeon. So um, I'm so glad that we decided right when the to not mm-hmm. use the plus two for <laughs> skill checks. Yeah, but it still would have helped. They rolled a one. Yeah, they rolled natural one. Yeah, I mean, yeah, as we do, we do count for for those that are angers. We do count ones and twenties because I think it makes it hilarious. <laughs> it makes it interesting. Um, yeah, it's, it's so real hilarious. Jeff Sanford says, right back to the 42nd layer of hell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. It's just an elevator. It's just, <laughs> just a reminder to everyone joining us right now, we have a Gleam giveaway. So if you guys uh, check out the uh, link, if we put that link right back in the chat, Percival. Uh, you can. Uh, we're giving away an ultimate uh, license from Fantasy Ground and a special Nords gift, uh, from, uh, gift from Nords Games. Um, and we're giving it away for free. And it's... A giveaway. <laughs> it's it's going to be next week. So uh, we'll, be, we'll be telling you who the winner is. So you can sign up now. A lot of ways to uh, get uh, additional raffle in there. Check it out right now. And that link will be in chat shortly. Um, so, yeah, take a look out for that. So uh, you guys start traveling, uh, which you don't know is the, is the exact wrong way. And you travel. And as you travel, you start hearing interesting noises. Oh, come on. All right. Well, noises are good because that means maybe something is alive. That's I was weird. really worried that while we were walking... Oh, you know, Dragano just killed all of so everything. Everything. What? Um. All right. Okay. So you got you guys are hear uh, different kinds of noises, and uh, eventually you hear some sort of growling, mm. and you realize wherever you are, you're walking into something that mm. cave bear, <laughs> cave bear troll <laughs> bear. Is it? Uh, <laughs> like, is it one? Can we? Do we hear one animal growling, or is it many? Uh, Roll tell the check. Oh boy. A five. God, you, people. You're not sure what it is. You heard some kind of growling, and it sounds like it's either a growl or a grunt. You're not sure what it is. Can I can I make a, a check on that? Sure. <laughs> oh my god. Is that a one? You, <laughs> yes, roll, you roll one's over. <laughs> oh yeah, I did. Thank you. <laughs> a Ooh. nineteen. It was almost another one. Yay. Okay, this sounds like a large creature. <coughs> and you hear all of a sudden a voice. Who's out there? Oh, shit. Whoa. We're just friendly travelers. Here. I just start. I just start. I don't even wait. Are you sure this is the right way? <laughs> so you guys, it's very quietly, Tom. Not just like, qu- quiet the wind. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I did this. Yeah. Run back the other way. Sock pulls up, pulls out a sword. So someone says, "Man, bear pig." <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I'll tell you what, everyone. Uh, how many shares we have right now? What we got? What's the number? 110 shares. Get me to uh, 115 shares in 10 seconds, and I'll make it man, bear, pig. Go. Oh my god. Oh, oh no. I'll give it a little time. So you got you start you start fleeing. Uh, Jacques pulls out a sword. He's like, "Are we gonna go to?" Stay here. What are we doing? I start backing up into a shadow. I want to try to start hiding. And he looks at you in the shadow and goes, okay, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> he backs away. He gets following Tom a bit. One, two, three, four are left. The, the thief I telling the Tom. assassin. Can I also back I up? Finn. I see them back, back up. up. Back up. I follow stay. Finn. Stay. Stay. And you follow Finn. who? Follow Finn. Okay, so it's gone. So just the two of you stay. And you I'm, all... ready f- I'm ready for whatever it is. I'm and s- here I'm it comes s- up. And Percival, what is it? If it's 115... It is man bear pig. 
120. Yeah. They, oh the people want man fanfic. <laughs> <laughs> Give them what they want. So you see what looks like it maybe could have been an ogre. <laughs> right. <laughs> but it's not. <laughs> it's <clears throat> it's a half man, half, half bear, bear pig. Mad bear pig. <laughs> <laughs> or is it a half bear, half man pig? <laughs> <laughs> Ridiculous. Guys, come on! <laughs> guys, stop it! I'm cereal. Uh, <laughs> super cereal, guys. I'm trying to be trying to be super cereal! So he comes he comes out, oh, he no. looks like he's part man, part bear, part pig. You don't understand what you're looking at. And he's All like right. he's like, Oh dinner. He goes, How big is he? He's big. <laughs> then you. He goes over and just goes like to, to squat you. He's uh okay, hold on. I'll tell you how big he is. <laughs> You want how big he is, I'll tell you, okay, 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 okay. He's so big, he's that big. That's how big he is. <laughs> so big, that's how big he is. He is nine feet tall. He's a little bit nine bigger than you. Nine feet tall? He's yeah. Got, he's got two feet over you. <laughs> he runs over and hits you, and he's going to hit you, like, and let's do that natural like, 20. Wow. Wow. That's fun. It's like Jen fighting Brendan. And this <laughs> 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 oh, no, that would be me fighting this thing. Well, I'm saying two feet tall. Oh, yeah. Sorry, guys. Oh, wow. I know it's loud. I'm lowering it down right now. Oh, my God. Sorry for that. Okay, so, uh, man, bad pig runs in. And this is why I hid in the shack. Connects. That's why I left. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> You're a fool for now. <laughs> okay, he does. You were. You were. He does 15 damage. All right. Okay. Um, you guys can go. Uh, Rob, you go first. Like. Okay. I'll... You see him come over. You like look at him. Oh, you're in the suit. <laughs> so you like look at the other way, <laughs> and you see him hit him, and then uh, you're like, whack him with my warhammer. Okay. Two shots. You pull out the war big giant warhammer. We get we get pluses. We got pluses to attack. Oh, oh we do. For the shares. Nice. Yes. Thank I, you. 28 I, and a 13. I picture like steel from the comics. Yeah. 28 to 13. Uh, yeah, yeah. 28 is, is certainly a hit. 13's a miss. So you go, and you go around, and like he just falls back for the first hit, and you miss the second attack. Uh, do your damage. Eight. Eight damage. Dan, you're up. All right, I had, I have two attacks. I'm going to use my plus two. Here we go. Scott thank Walter on my first attack. Yeah, that was uh, Jeff who gave you that. Oh, it was Jeff? Yeah. All right, thank you, Jeff. Sorry. But Scott Walter, you're pretty cool, too. Uh, yeah. <laughs> first is, yeah. Uh, uh, 30. Hit. <laughs> nice. Second. 30. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Second is... Is that all? 30. This guy's rolling 30s, no problem. 22. They're wow. both hits. All right. So, you knocked him, knocked him once, you sent him back a little bit, he stumbled, you missed with your second attack, and Dan runs up right behind you, you know, just about the same size of you. Uh, what did we got a sword in your hand, right? Yes. Yes. So he slashes, whoof, whoosh, and stabs the sword through Man Man Pig. Nice. <clears throat> first, first, first hit is 19. 19. Second hit is 18. Jesus. Okay, he screams. Can I, uh, can I help him out? Can I, can I, I thought you said you ran away. Oh, I did. I backed <laughs> up. I, well, I didn't run away. Okay. <laughs> I I he said he backed up. He didn't okay. run. I, I backed up. <laughs> I didn't like it. I, I, I just got to run. You're trying to put, like, you know, words in my mouth over here. Hey, listen, I, I, I just said I hit the shadows. Yeah, like, I don't know about running away. <laughs> No. In the, in the uh, metaphorical sense. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> okay, so you, you back. Can, you, I, can I come back? You back <laughs> off. You, you come back if you admit you ran away. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, nice. Okay, so you. <laughs> That's uh, so you back off and now you, oh, you take you you see them uh, kind of like I mangle them up yeah, and then you run back in. I'll give you a charge, one attack. Okay. Uh, that's gonna be a sorry. It's a uh, fifteen. A two. A fifteen. Oh yeah, I didn't add the two. Seventeen. Uh, 17. That sorry. is a miss. Uh, oh. Yeah. Okay. But close. So can I come out of the there, shadows and backstab? Yes. Go for it. Okay. So two attacks. Actually, three attacks. A 21. Okay, so a little half runs between all your legs. It jumps up. That's with the short yeah. sword. It's a tw 21 with the short sword. That's it, yeah. Okay, and then a 18 with the dagger. 
18 to hit. And Juggy Gales, welcome to the stream, man. A natural 20, finally. Hey! 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 Nice. Okay, so. Put it out there, man. All right, so the uh, short sword is a D8. That's 9. 11 damage and an additional 2d6. Jamie Lynn Robinson goes, how about a nice Christmas ham? 11, that's 15, <laughs> seven, 18 damage on the first hit. Thanks. And then the dagger is 11 damage on the dagger. And then the second one is 20, 20, baby. a 10 plus They're all 17, They're all 17 damage. Bacon, bacon out of the man bear pig. 17 <laughs> damage. Actually, 17. no, it's more, because that, that was the critical. That's uh, right. it's way more. 17 times D6 plus 4. <laughs> what? <laughs> so 17 times hey, D6 plus 4? You gave this to me, so I don't want to hear it. <laughs> 17 times D6 plus 4. Uh, 17 times 5. <laughs> oh, and then your critical is, is a times 6? You, because it's, you it's mid-maxed it. It's a D6 plus wow. 4. That's 85 damage. Yeah. So I, I backstab him for 85 damage on Sweet the third hit. Jesus. Okay, so... That's not even the backstab damage. I didn't even roll the whole way. We're fine. Damage. We're good. How are you? Good thing. So, <laughs> so you run. You guys beat the shit out of him. And uh, Damien, you run in there. and uh, I distracted him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm a dwarf. I'm a dwarf. <laughs> and uh, all of a sudden, you you wriggle through. You come up behind him. You see uh, a thistle. Put, takes a short sword. It just goes... Oh, my God. And then, like, takes a dagger. Puts it in the side. And the guy starts, like... Moving around, <laughs> what can he do? And <laughs> then he is forced to do only what he can do. And his last words are, Man Bear P! <laughs> wow. And he falls on the ground. Man Bear P. <laughs> <laughs> and I wipe off my weapons. <laughs> now that was impressive, Thistle. Mm. I didn't imagine you climbing up his spine. Oh, pretty with pretty your much. Weapons. <laughs> like the ending with just like the sword through his head. Like. So, uh. I, I, I turn Jacques, around. You, you and Jacques with you is like, you think they, uh. think they're okay? Oh, another one. Yeah, I, 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 they're not screaming. I loot Man Bear Pig. <laughs> <laughs> what should Man. Okay, um. <laughs> yeah, honey. Honey, fish, well, dead animals, cigarettes. Let's, let's, let's see. <laughs> guys, Jacques. guys, what does Man bear pig, bear pig have on him? The first thing I read that he has on him is what you have, unless you try to give him something too powerful. <laughs> Verbal sword. No. Verbal sword. <laughs> oh, Constance uh, Turner, thank you so much for 100 stars for Brooke's yeah. beautiful song. Oh, oh thank you, Constance. Hopefully it energized you and, and relaxed, relaxed you. <laughs> and then energized again. <laughs> Thank you, Constance. That's awesome. Your sneak attack is criticized, too, Scott Walter says. Oh, jeez. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's ridiculous. No one's giving anything. Uh, Justin, what does Man Bear, Bear Pig have on him? Oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah. He's like, what are you uh, talking about? I see Al Gore's business cards. <laughs> a picture of his mom. Watching the show. <laughs> what a is picture man, of his if, mom. if Man Bear Pig drops something, what would he drop? Three seconds. <laughs> okay, he drops he drops a uh, a parchment on the floor. Oh, if I pick it up, it's not half as fun. What do you do with it? I read it. Okay, can you read? Um, <laughs> uh, not really. <laughs> <laughs> There's no picture. You're, it's like it's yeah. like Charlie from Always Sunny. There's Trying no picture. Oh. You, got, you guys, you, 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 I, I you can't read. <laughs> I show it to Arky. Arky. <laughs> Al Gore Appreciation Club. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> I'm in a club. <laughs> <laughs> I, put it, I put it away. Okay. <laughs> this means something. Jack runs back. He goes, are you alive? If so, we, we are, yeah. but he's not. He looks at the beast. He's like, well, very good. You killed whatever it was. And now, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Are we going the other way now? Yeah, I guess we'll have to uh, backtrack a little Sounds bit. Sounds good. <laughs> well, the backtrack. Okay, so you guys, um, you go the opposite way, the way this grow did not lead you. <laughs> not that we don't trust The way this grow, this grow didn't lead you. <laughs> <laughs> you per guys, se. You guys walk, you walk for another two hours, you're exhausted, you fought Man Bear Pig, that's hard you out a bit too. <laughs> um, and all of a sudden you start seeing light 
Oh my and god. And it's amazing, guys. And you look at it and it's getting brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter. Oh and you like you really your eyes are not adjusting to it. And you get outside and it just looks like everything is just like yellowish white and you you have trouble seeing anything. <clears throat> and you feel like um like uh, desert sand like hitting you in the face. <gasps> and you're just looking around and like you just have no idea where you are. Role play. Oh my are we, are we, is it the surface? Is this I, uh, I take, um, I, so. I just pull my uh, my robes over my head to like, try and like, completely get the I don't the remember opening a droid. <laughs> 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 um, yeah, just shave my eyes as much as I can. Um, he shaves his eyes. Yeah, it's sun. Every oh, shade. 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 Not <laughs> shades. <laughs> yeah, he's like, what? His, his eyebrows. He's shaving his eyebrows. He's going to shave my eyebrows. <laughs> Of course! Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's so appropriate <laughs> for right now. I was like, so. That is new Obi Wan information for me. <laughs> <laughs> he manicured. Jeff Sanford, you were too late. Magical barbecue sauce was funny. Uh, uh, a hybrid engine was what Lee House said. Oh, and Melissa, oh Melissa Panani said harmonica. Jay, oh, okay. Oh, okay. One, one, two, three, four, five, six in here right now. Uh, Tom, roll D6 for me. And you're going to find. You're gonna, you would have found this also with Mayor Two. Uh, it's the second thing on the list, which is turkey bacon. Ooh, oh. that's good. Where the hell you get turkey bacon nice. in a cave? Nice snack. Uh, I still have the, the Al Gore card, though, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. That, that's his you prize still position. Fan club. Oh, You're so fan club. That's important. Okay, okay so right. you guys, it, it literally takes you about an hour to adjust to the light. It's just really bad, and you're, just, you're shielding it. And How it's long have awkward. we been down there? I, a, a I can't year? get my eyes to like adjust. I feel like it's been like weeks at least. Yeah, definitely. Oh my gosh. You guys uh, I can't start. See anything. You guys start walking, and like you're just stumbling uh, all all around, and you're walking up the sand dunes, and you immediately start thinking like, "Oh my god, all we have is some, some rations and turkey bacon and <laughs> algae litter." So you guys uh, walk up uh, on the dunes, and you're walking pretty high, higher, 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 higher. And when you get higher, it's like a sand mountain. I'm now going to show you. Um, actually, Jacques will make this even even more appropriate. Jacques says he goes, "You have the map, right?" I have, well, the only maps I have are the uh, underground ones. We have a map. Uh, have, yeah, you I never had an above ground map. Oh, no. no. Finn has a map, though. I thought we did have a map of, like, the area of uh, the sunken city and then, like, the yeah. desert outside. Yeah. Uh, we did, we did. did we have a map? Yeah, you guys had I a didn't, map. Yeah, yeah, you so guys you had I did. From the beginning, yeah. I never I had a map of the above ground. You guys might have. <clears throat> Hogar and Finn have a map. Okay, we're going to have a map. We're going to say, right now, since no one's sure, uh, it, 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 it's okay. So we're going to take you guys to the map right here. Um, mm -hmm. And you can go to the Red Knight's Realm, actually, uh, Steve. So on Twitch, you guys are seeing there, um, you see a couple of different things there. I just want to read something here. Very cool. Uh, hello to our people on Twitch. How you doing, guys? Okay, so... Um, yeah, Twitch. Twitch! Twitch! You guys are looking at the Red Knight's Realm. Uh, you guys come out of a small cave on this map, and uh, it basically puts you um, on the southern western side of the mountain range, uh, right to the east of the sunken city. Um, you see Jacques is looking around, looking at the area, and he's like, he's like okay, um... We we are very very close. That was that was good. So if we were to head to the other side of the mountain range, we would make our way uh, back to the sunken city. And if we head uh, east, we make our way towards the red city. East. Is that where east. we are going to go? Yes. Yeah. East. I cannot believe we are not on the ground anymore. I know. Feels wonderful. How how uh, how much of a walk is it from here to keep? About two or three days. Oh my, oh my god. Um what 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 is our surrounding what, what, what setting are we in right now? So this is all just desert. If you're looking right now, it's just a complete desert. Desert. Um uh, uh um what okay. are we seeing? Like la large dunes, uh, hills of sand and stuff? That's all dunes, yes. All right. Um <clears throat> I keep an eye out for 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 some doors. Mm. I don't so doors. Okay, so you guys, you're looking around right now. <laughs> what you're talking about is collector's dungeons. Uh, we can do a roll to see if we find something. Uh, you guys are traveling towards what, what you believe is a red city in that direction. Mm. Okay. Yep. Uh, you guys may start making that journey, um, and you're now going to roll d20s. 
to see if you find a collector's dungeon randomly, as and as you guys know from the beginning of the quest, they are hidden a lot in the dust, <coughs> which is this desert here. So uh, roll a d20. Um, Dan, have you rolled? Have you used your plus two? Yeah, I did. you did. On use my plus first attack against the man bear. Pit. Okay. Uh, since you guys get a bonus, I'll g you guys got that, that bonus plus two from the audience. I'll give you guys an extra. Uh, one person can have an extra d20 roll at the end. So uh, make a d20 roll. Anyone rolls a 20, you find a very 13. valuable and rare um, collector's dungeon, which nope. is, is held with a lot of nope. loot. 20! Yeah! yeah! <laughs> okay, there goes that. So you guys, oh my God. you guys oh, no. are you guys are walking, and as you guys are going, now the two of you, uh, Tom Findelar and Hogar, have seen uh, a uh, the doors before, and they're usually hidden amongst the sand, and that's because the co the collectors' uh, cities and dungeons were this area here, but now covered by sand, destroyed by dragons in the past. So um, you guys are kind of looking for it, not really thinking you're gonna find one, and all of a sudden Brooke walks in here, clunk clunk. And you like you all hear the sound and look at her, and look you look over there, and right below her feet, you see like the stone, like at like a forty five degree angle and like in like sandstone, and you see the mark of the collector. Oh my god! That's I can't. That was lucky. Um, okay, so what do we do? As much as I really want to go in there, and as much as I really really want to go in there, <laughs> we're never going to find this again. I. <sighs> I you know, but you're a thief. I yes, <laughs> he's like our collectors side. are good. He's, he's, he's on our side. He's our patron. But yeah, how yes, do we not go? I agree. We're so close. But we also we have, have a giant them. target on our backs. Guys, what should they do right now? Should they should uh hearts? I understand. <laughs> give me give me love if they should go into the collector's dungeon and blue if they should bypass it and if, go to the city. If we go in there, we could be in there for days. Maybe he can help or us longer. recharge the or, rod. Or longer. Maybe we can recharge the rod in there. It, that it, that is a what possibility. Do you think, guys? Reds, if they should in go there. into the or, to the collector's dungeon or blue bypass. You don't think he'd protect us? No. They got lucky on a roll, <laughs> rolled a natural twenty, and they pulled up a very valuable uh, dungeon, but it could be dangerous. Yeah, they could be. Could be. Keyword. Could I got, be. I got, oh, some, I got some news for you guys. There's not one blue in there. Oh, Teresa Johnson put a blue in there. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's right, Teresa. I added but, you. You said blue. What was it? What was the blue uh, is what? Red is going. One blue about about sixty reds. That's red is going. Go red is going. <laughs> People have spoken. We must have we, listen, <laughs> I, but the the rarity of these doors. No, we, I like this. I like we, this. We like really this. could go through the, this uh, entire campaign and never find another one of these doors. Yeah, exactly. That's true. We have to do it. We could also right? walk in this door. And Get never killed. finish the rest of the campaign. <laughs> right, right. This could be the end. Well, not as us. Well, <laughs> as someone else. Um, I guess we could take a quick look. Yeah. Yeah, just, we'll just we'll open just, it up. Oh, yeah, just browse. Sure. Quick, just open it up and see yeah, what's yeah. inside. There's usually magical items and such. Yeah, we gotta go, guys. Let's do it. All right, let's... Thistle, do you want me to carry you? He's gonna go in front. Okay. Yeah, I'm. I'm you were scared confused, to but go. You were scared to go no, in. No, I'm not. I'm not afraid to go in there. It I want to get the like rod to back to where it's gotta go, so we all don't die. Maybe the this rod. Do you want me to carry you? Are, you? are you? Are you scared? Are you cranky? <laughs> are you cranky, the little ampling? <laughs> Do you want me to sing you a, a, a uh, song? James and Frederick, we are in uh, Staten Island, New York City. Woo! Sh James Shallon. is, is uh, saying he's from Montana. Welcome, James. Oh, oh hey. Montana. Welcome. How cold is it up there? It was pretty Montana cold here, but I'm sure nothing like is Montana. Mm. Definitely, definitely got some uh, snow. Ba Batman uh, reminds the group you're going to need to worry about water, guys. Uh, Jamie Lynn says she's from Arkansas. I don't know that. Yeah, where is everybody from out there? Why don't you guys uh, let us know? That's a good, good idea. Well, tell us where you're from, guys. I'm actually kind of curious. Um. So yeah, so less, less need for you know uh, extreme amounts of water when we're not in the desert because we're in an underground uh, treasure trap fest. So can I ask a question? Yeah. <laughs> less trap. Do we know if the do the doors move when you go to the door? Like no, like no. I mean, like if we were to leave, would the door move? You don't know that, but you do know. That the actual collector's dungeons are magical, 
there are other copy ones that were created, but they have magical items as well. But they not like the collector's dungeon. Not like collector's dungeons. You don't know which one this is, but you haven't gone inside. And uh, no you know you rolled a natural again. twenty to get this, so uh, you know you can you just pass it. You up. know there's no finding it again. There's just no. Like, well, we I'm, you're, I'm, not I'm, gonna, you're not gonna come back. I was, th oh, I was thinking about I was thinking about doing something, but <sighs> never mind. Like what? Leaving something in the door to keep it open. We tried that ourselves. No, the one that we f we found. But you're on the right track. We always find that okay. one again. I don't think we can. I don't even remember how we traveled in the first place. That's like eight we, years ago. We 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 okay. walked. All right. So wait, wait, wait. So are we? I'm gonna be straight <laughs> up and honest with you. I don't want to go in there. I want to go. You in You don't there. have to go in there. You can stay outside. You can't stay outside. Okay. If he doesn't want to go in, we're not gonna be able to really go far in there. I you, I can I can handle myself in there for traps, of course. Okay. I didn't know. But I'd rather you come with us. I I'm not gonna leave you. I'm just saying I don't. I would rather get the rod back than go in there. Is what I'm getting at. But the, but the rod right now is useless. What if there's something in there that we can help? Ah, right, useless. Bring it still back being to life. By all the forces of. But it can't everything. be found anyway. That's, it can't be detected. That's right. And if we're in it, we're gonna be in a door that nobody can find anyway. And I rolled a natural twenty. <laughs> I don't know when that's gonna what? happen again. <laughs> so so you're Boy. telling me you all want to go in here? Yeah! Yeah! I did say I was going, I was agreeing. I just asking you. I'm like, I'm like iffy, but like, I do think the the the. I, I feel like if if the collector is the god that is uh you know our, you know, our patron, and here in the randomness of this vast desert where we really don't have supplies to travel the desert, we come upon a door. Out of all of you. <laughs> I've been a follower of the the, the, the collector since I, I've been born. I didn't even really, you know, so, I, until I, we if met anybody him, I knows yeah. what it feels like to be in the presence of the collector, I think it would be me. But well, it's all of us. But we were there once again. We were tasked. We're getting this uh, thing yeah, back. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got you. I'm also. By the collector. <laughs> right. But maybe this door has appeared because the collector knows that we need to fix the rod and he can help us. That's true. We're on a mission for the collector and the collector's door appears and we're going to ignore it. We're on a, right. we're on a mission from God. <laughs> <laughs> the Blues Brothers just blow the So, um... I'm not like yeah yeah. I'm not I'm not Hogar level of enthusiasm. Yeah 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 but yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I, I feel like I feel like it's literally like us turning away from an opportunity to. I'm really torn with this right now. No, you're not. I really am. I really am. I'm gonna be honest with you. I right, really am right. torn. Well, we've got a key. Well, we'll just pick you up. Then. That that's the other thing. It's very rare. Wait. To find a door. Wait wait wait. And how rare yes, is it also to have the key? They never mentioned this ever. Yes, they yeah. did in the beginning. No, they never mentioned this. Of course <laughs> they did. This is this is no, no. no, that was mentioned. Maybe yeah, you were was. here for that. that yeah, I don't ever remember <laughs> this that character hearing like, about a collector's key. Because if I would have heard you had a collector's key, you would not have a collector's key. <laughs> they got. They found yeah, a collector's key. <laughs> What's funny is they found a collector's key on this uh, key <laughs> on the, the same uh, like D20 no, no, roll or something like that. I in the I know they found the collector's key. My character doesn't know they found a collector's key. Oh, oh. Well, <laughs> now you know. So <laughs> yeah. game. Do you mean wait, this wait, wait. So, Sorry. so you just have a you just have a collector's key. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we found the door. Oh yeah. Oh yes. Oh. <laughs> I go, That's the spirit. I put the, key, I put the key in the door. <laughs> You're like, yeah, <laughs> click. <laughs> <laughs> the door goes. It wow. fits. <laughs> of course it fits. It's a collector's key. It opens anything. It does. It does. <laughs> <laughs> it literally opens anything. Well, that might have been useful. <laughs> Why didn't you tell us that? I didn't know you had it. <laughs> wow. Well, <laughs> Scott Walter says at least leave behind an item you can use for locate objects return. Mm. Scott, Scott that's wow. what I was going to do. That is, that is exactly what I was going to do. That's great. I, that's, that's great thinking. Fantastic. So uh, Lee Excellent says he's idea. from Alabama. Uh, Batman says he's from Alberta, Canada. Hey. Oh, uh, Kurt's awesome. from Utah. Nice. Wow, guys, they really run everywhere. It's pretty nice. good. Calgary, Alberta, Canada. I can't believe these guys Home have a breath key. Man heart. Batman says he drug it. Dragano can't find you if he can't find the door, guys. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Uh, That's what I'm talking about. Do we have an well, item we'd like to leave? 
You guys are going to do uh, that? I, the rod. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to leave my music box. We don't have to leave like every. <laughs> not everyone needs to leave something. Just one person. So, so we're not. One, oh, but if we're not you going in. Offer that. We are going in. Yeah, oh, I'll leave good. the music box. So it's the object. Yeah. Yeah. So that I have a music box, a random me, uh, music box in my bag. If the we music need to box get, is good. It is different. If we but need I looted, to get out, yeah. I looted all somebody can locate it. Oh, okay. yeah. right. for lost or whatever the case. Maybe we <coughs> maybe we bury it. Yeah, <laughs> let's bury it. <coughs> not too deep. No, you should never bury anything too deep. Okay. Like a okay. little deep. Just a little deep. Yes, Hogar. Yeah. Okay, so you uh, guys bury the um, music box about like a foot down, mm-hmm. right by the door. And uh, that's it. Jock uh, helps bury, bury it. Gets up. Okay. So uh, if we're I'll, doing this, let's I do it. I can't believe I'm doing this. It's your dream come true, buddy. Believe it, it. We're here. It is, but not like this. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, things are you still have the key? Yeah. All right, good. I'll take it out of the door. <laughs> take it out of the door. Um, you guys, um, you see that the, right inside, <laughs> there are <laughs> steps. Put it in my pants. <laughs> <laughs> he, he tucks it. Yeah. <laughs> this only gonna go in there. I put it in my pocket. I look at him. I put it in another pocket. I look at him again. <laughs> For safekeeping. <laughs> yeah. You see us uh, steps inside, going down to a um, like a smaller platform that probably goes out about twenty feet in a direction to the left and the right, and um, you can immediately see that there's something on the uh, on the floor right there. Um, raise your hand if you enter the collector's dungeon. <laughs> okay, Jacques runs into two. You guys start walking down, and you you walk in, <clears throat> and you see you come up to what appears to be the collector's uh, insignia, which is a circle with like like it's kind of like it looks somewhat like a lightning bolt, but not exactly. Just to kind of give you an idea of what it is, and that that's on the the floor. And after that, you see steps going down into like pure darkness. And look around the area. What you do see also is on the sides there is two torches. One left, one on the right. Oh, they lit. They are both lit. Ah, underground, our natural state. Just for we get out of the joint. No, we we haven't been underground in a few hours, so (laughs) maybe we go back down. Enough air in our lungs. (laughs) Enough of that fresh air. (laughs) Wow. (laughs) Um, Okay, stairs going down, symbol on the floor, torch to the left and the right. Yes. I don't don't Uh, want to mitigate. Go ahead. You can roll. No, you can. You can use any ideas because you would know knowledge of these things. So you can. You can use That's, ideas. Okay. So I've, let me make a. No, I guess. Uh, Check. Intelligence. Yeah. I mean, your father was a, like a like a famous thief and everything else. So you don't need to. A seventeen. Yes. <clears throat> okay. So you have uh, knowledge about the collector's dungeons. Uh, Vinny is talking about the fact that he's in other quests in the same world. Vinny has played characters that have gone to collector's dungeons. So. I um, mean, knowing that, he's asking if he can know any of the knowledge. You do know stuff about from your father, so you can use any knowledge that you know. Okay. Um, so I, w- I walk over to the torch. Yes. And I take one out. Which one? Okay. So you take, you, t- you reach up and you tip your toes. <laughs> you need help there, little guy? Ah, <laughs> uh, please? Yes. <laughs> he goes over. He <laughs> puts the torch up. He goes, we have torches, though. I know. And I okay. walk over to the insignia and I... <laughs> he puts the torch down the insignia and you see the insignia goes... <laughs> And deep in deep in there, you hear. <laughs> and all of a sudden, the door behind you goes, <laughs> and the torches go out. And that's where we stop. Oh. No! Oh. Oh. Yes. Guys, I thank Hold you. you. Oh. I didn't want to go oh in there. <laughs> no, this is good. This is good. Oh yeah, that's, yeah. that's always a good, good sign. Yeah. Guys, thank you so much for hanging out with us tonight. Uh, the characters have cho- the players have chosen to go off path into a collector's dungeon, so close to where their their destination is. It's exciting for me because they're going to go through a fun gauntlet of tricks, traps, and, you had and roll, treasures. You had to roll a twenty and, and treasures and if treasure. you're lucky. The one, the one time you had to roll so, a twenty, uh, you had to roll a twenty. Next week, eight thirty p.m. Eastern Standard Time, right here. Uh, don't forget this weekend we are at PAX Unplugged. Don't yeah. forget there's yeah. a giveaway that we're, that we're going to find out the winner next week. It's a uh, ultimate. Uh, a license from uh, Fantasy Grounds and a gift from Nord Games. Um, and luck. like and subscribe. We go we go live on uh, YouTube, Facebook, and Twitch. 
Um, and we're here every week, so find us next week, same time, same channel. Woo! Tony yeah. Hansen for Audio Dungeon, Rob Zotaro, Dan Isro, Damian Scrow, Brooke Armstrong, Vinny Pro, Tom Kakoza. We will see you next week. <laughs>